Yo, what's going on guys? Coach Chris Barner here with Overtime Athletes. And for today's video, I wanted to follow up the linear speed warm-up that we did for change of direction and agility. So, as I always say, you know, athletes come in here in our, in our facility, they go through the same 10, 12 minute dynamic warm-up where we're elevating tissue temperature, challenging the range of motion, putting them through a series of movements that are gonna basically you know, stretch them out, get them ready for the actual training session. It's no different when it comes to our change of direction and agility focused days. And I just wanna walk you through what that movement prep looks like. There's basically three things that we're trying to do. I know change of direction is multi-directional. It's based on the athlete. However, we go through a series of linear progressions. And so for the agility and change of direction day, what we're really focused on is that lateral and that reverse movement, okay? So the two things that we're really focused on in the lateral, or three things I should say, is going to be working across the foot. And that's gonna be inversion, eversion of the foot. We want, then wanna focus on a stable knee, and then we wanna focus on hip abduction and adduction, okay? So just basic fundamental movements of the human body, and we wanna elevate the threshold of those. So there's a series of movements that we do. First and foremost, just like our linear speed, we're gonna work through the lower limb. This is gonna be your foot and ankle complex and working through to be able to move laterally. So the first one we're gonna do is gonna be our bilateral, start with the least complex and start to intensify, right? So first one is gonna be bilateral off both feet, just going pogos laterally, working through, making sure the foot and the toes stay forward, hips stay square and moving laterally. They're gonna perform that down and back. Now from there, we're gonna immediately intensify that into our single leg. So they're gonna stay on the same leg, both 10 yards down and back, right? And be able to do the same thing, working just through the foot, eliminating the hip. So it takes a lot of focus here. When you first do this, you're gonna feel it. It's gonna feel at the end that your foot is gonna get really fatigued. That's when you know you're working. If you need to break it off into five yards first, completely fine. So after we've done both of those, next what we wanna do is start to divert forces. And all that means is we actually wanna do some true change of direction. So we usually do some basic line hops, all right? Now, depending on where the athlete is in the off season, we can either start very basic or we can intensify these. We can add a platform so the athlete has to produce some vertical force. We can add a hurdle. We can add through time, we can do it through reps. There's a progression to everything we do. Usually we can start off with some bilateral, right? Moving back and forth laterally, right? Off both feet. You could go forward and back, bang, 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 right? And then you can intensify the single leg, being able to move back and forth, forward and back as fast as, and as rapid as they possibly can. These are rapid response, meaning I want the athlete to have a quick contact and be able to get as many reps as they possibly can if we're doing it for time. And that's usually what we do it for. Now that we've really warmed up and prepped the lower limb, the foot and ankle, we then want to move up right into the hips. First thing that we always start off with is going to be a series of basic bounds. So we call this the lateral power shuffle. So I want the athlete to sit the hips back and I want them focused off pushing off that outside leg into a bound as far as they possibly can. Bang, 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 all the way down. And we're obviously gonna do this for both sides. After that, I want them to perform a crossover bound. So we wanna actually elevate that motion of crossing the leg over, being able to produce force here. So it's very similar to the last one, but we're just crossing over and pulling. After that, what we wanna do is we wanna go through a series of lateral shuffle. Now, when I'm teaching lateral shuffle, from a training standpoint or from a warm up standpoint, for change of direction, I'm not focused on just playing like you're playing basketball and just going through it mindlessly. I actually want my athletes to get an extremely wide stance. Most athletes, if you watch them perform a lateral shuffle, they're comfortable with their feet underneath. I want them to be quick and powerful with their feet outside shoulder width. So I tell them to drop the hips, stay wide, and imagine you have a Swiss ball in between your legs and I want you to get as choppy and fast as you possibly can. That's how we neural prep the lateral shuffle. So they're gonna perform that for 10 yards down and 10 yards back. Next series after that is gonna be our karaoke series. So there's two different karaoke that we focus on here. Number one is going to be for power and number two is gonna be our quick step. 
So when it's for power, I'm gonna use the whole length of the turf, which we have 35 here. And the athlete's gonna focus on reaching big, right? And being able to reach big. So I challenge them with effort and range of motion for this particular drill. So they're focused on a big bound and a big pull. Big bound and a big pull all the way down. And they're gonna look more like bounds, right? It's more of a effort drill, um, but I really want them to open up the hips and open up the spine as they continue to rotate and swivel. The second one is more for speed, and this is training variable knee height. So they're gonna go karaoke quick step. This is where I want the athlete to pull the knee up to hip level, stay square, toes forward the entire time. I don't want them swiveling. I tell them, take what your range of motion gives you. So if you got to go right here, that's fine. If you could come right here, that's great. But the biggest thing I'm focused on, two things. I want you as fast down as you came up, right? A lot of athletes like to get lazy up here and then just put the leg down. I want you to actively put that leg back into the ground. And number two is sync it up with your hands. So I want real fast, bang, bang, bang. Being able to pick it up and put it down as fast as they possibly can. The last series from here is gonna be our look back series. This is a basic crossover run where the athlete is going to accelerate, right, by having their hips squared laterally. The progression to this from a basic crossover run, staying lateral and being able to sprint is a look back. It challenges their kinesthetic awareness a little bit more because their eyes aren't fixated on where the body's going. It's actually looking in the opposite direction. So they're here and they're sprinting crossover with their eyes fixed on a particular object. And finally, the rounded out, basically we go through our back pedal series. Now, depending on what that sport the athlete plays and what they do, again, just being able to restore balance to the athlete, bring symmetry. We wanna make sure that we're incorporating all these things, even if it's not sport specific. So the first one that we go through is going to be a reverse backpedal butt kick run, right? So the athlete's torso is upright and they're focused on getting a lot of reps, kicking their heel up to their butt and being able to get a lot of reverse cycles, if you will. The second one, I wanna get the hips involved, right? So that's more across the knee joint. The second one, I want them to get the hips involved so it's a backwards reach run. So they're gonna kick that heel back as far as they possibly can and bound backwards. I tell the athlete to actually tip your torso forward and be able to reach back as far as you possibly can. Last but not least, I'm gonna tell the athlete, I don't care what it looks like, I want you to backpedal as fast as you possibly can. Usually what I instruct them to do is sit into a chair, work across that knee joint, and I want them to rapidly backpedal as fast as they possibly can. We hit all three of those, make sure we're attacking, checking all the boxes. And that is our warm up for our agility, change of direction focus day. If you're interested in a full agility program, go ahead and check out the link down below. I'll see you guys next time.